So we're here at the Galaxy Wind, and uh, who are you? I'm Chester Chan from Galaxy Winds. So what is Galaxy Wind? Well, Galaxy Wind is actually a company focusing on IoT. We have 23 years of history working in big data communication devices, not only supporting the government, but in the two, year of 2009, we started to, a new branch, which is, is the IoT branch. So we released our uh, product to Wukong i8 in the year of 2014, and we raised the two million within a month so on Jindong uh, crowdfunding. In one month, you, you raised two million dollars on a smart aircon partner device. Uh, can we see what it is? That's right. Sure. So it goes in the power, and uh, you put the air condition here. Yeah. And then what can you do with it? Well, with this, basically, you can remotely control your air conditioning, even if you're far away from your house. For example, before you get back to your house, you can actually switch on your air conditioning. Then, once you get back to your house, it's cool and nice. Or sometimes we rush out and then we forget to turn off our air conditioning. It will be probably around for the whole day. Then that will cost a lot of energy. So with this plug, you can simply click on your cell phone and then you can turn off your air conditioning. It saves your energy and also bill. Do you have to use your app to do all this? There's an app? Yeah, there is an app. It's actually a very beautiful design app, you know, so with all the functions that you can do with your remote controller, you know, so changing the temperature, change the mold, you can even see your electricity consumption on the app. Well, so it actually it measures the electricity consumption? Yeah, yeah, there is a power metering actually in this. So actually people should use, should buy one for each of their air conditioners in the home. Do yeah. people do that? Yeah, yeah, they should buy one piece for, all the, uh, for each unit. It has a remote IR function? Yeah. So there's an IR beacon in there? Yeah, 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 IR beacon in there. Cool. And uh, so can you talk about some of the other stuff that you have here? Because it says uh, uh, Internet of Things, you have uh, some, some is it Wi-Fi? What kind of what are you showing here? Yeah, basically uh, our communication protocol we have two different kinds of ways. One is Wi-Fi focused uh, uh, products. As you can see, we have smart socket. Those are simple Wi-Fi socket. You know, we have the plugs of all different nations, and then we have the LED light. You know, this is also Wi-Fi control LED light, RGB color. Yeah. Um, we also have air conditioning controller for European countries. Why is it different in European countries? Well, because of the plug, basically. You know, because the European has yeah. different plugs compared with China. You know, so it so has, it's the same function otherwise. Yeah, basically it has the same function. We have the Wi-Fi thermostat. You know, so for central air conditioning. All right. What does it do compared to uh, the Nest? Uh, basically, it's a similar thing, you know. So um, <clears throat> you basically do, uh, you basically have the similar function as Nest, you know. All right. And uh, you, you're talking about a module. What is that? Yeah, for the Wi-Fi module, we also we are actually um, we're actually a researched focused company. Um, we provide smart solutions for traditional or manufacturers. For example, there are manufacturers making heaters, they are making um, uh, fans, they are making washing machines. So with our smart solution, we can help them to actually upgrade their product, you know, so their product can be transformed into smart ones. So you have to you go, get on the Wi-Fi hot, hotspot in the home? Is that how all of your solutions work? Is through the hotspot in the home? Yeah, for example, you can have a, you can have a look of this uh, fan heater. This is actually the fan heater that we we actually made for one of our clients from Italy. Um, they make traditional fan heaters. So we introduce our smart solution for them, and then they actually um, uh, with this module, so they transform their fan heaters into smart ones, so their clients can use APP to control their fan heaters. From there, you have to do all the controls, so is it again IR or something else? 
No, this is not IR. Basically, the Wi-Fi module only does the communication part. You know, so it does communication with your cell phone, and also it sends message to the control panel in the device, and then the, the, the it will operate remotely. You know. How do you get into that control? How do you get to control these things? So basically, um, the demands is actually sent through these Wi-Fi modules. And then Wi-Fi modules talk to the control panel. You know, so um, but we have to work with the manufacturer. You know, so it's not something that the um, the end user is supposed to know. But uh, this is something that we we work with the manufacturers. So you have design house. Where are you based? We're based in Shenzhen. Um, as you can see, uh, we have this whole block building in Shenzhen, a high tech zoom. Uh, as I've already mentioned, uh, 500 people. Yeah, we have 500 engineers. Three Whoa. different research centers, one in Chengdu, one in Changsha, and the headquarters is actually Shenzhen. And most of them are focusing on IoT right now, or? Basically, all of them are focusing on IoT. As you can see, we have a very rich production line. You know, what I've just mentioned is only Wi Fi products. You know, but we have our newly released technology, which is Magby. This is something that you don't hear much about. You know, you probably know Zigbee, Z Wave, and all those. But Magby is the protocol of, of Galaxy Win. You know, as you can see, this is a gateway of Magby. This is the smallest gateway of all IoT. So it's just USB? Yeah, it's just USB. USB uh, provide power supply. Yeah. And this will allow you to connect to 128 different devices. Whoa, so it powers and then it connects through this hub uh, to the internet? Yeah. So this one internet. gets on, on uh, Wi-Fi too? Yeah, yeah, that's right. 128 devices. What's one the protocol? How does it work? Well, it's our own protocol, you know, so it works similar like Z-Wave or Zigbee, you know, and the power consumption is pretty low. That's actually something that we're focusing on solve because we work with Wi-Fi a lot, but for certain devices like smoke detector and gas detector, yeah. those things need battery. So the off circle, like all IoT people are facing is to reduce the power consumption. So with this uh, MACB protocol, and then we managed to solve that problem because the power consumption is pretty low. With um, <clears throat> the gas detector, you know, it'll last more than a year, sometimes it'll reach two years if it doesn't work very frequently. How, how much better is it the power consumption compared to Wi-Fi? Um, Wi-Fi is really, Wi-Fi consumes a lot of power as you guys probably already know, you know, for gas detector and then smoke detector, those devices, it, it will not work with Wi-Fi, you know, because the battery cannot support the uh, power consumption that, that, that long, you know. All right. So, so I guess you, you're busy also working on a, a lot of new things that are coming out. Yeah. Um, for actually for these module, you know, because some of you guys probably know Wi-Fi module will cost around 10 US dollars, sometimes even more expensive. But with Mac B module, you know, it will only cost three US dollars. Three US dollars. Three US dollars. You know, even cheaper later on. You know, so but with this technology we can definitely help a lot of traditional manufacturers to reduce their product price. And then this will allow more and more people, like regular people, to enjoy IoT or smart life. This is basically something that we really um, are, are exciting about. All right. So what are, what, is, uh, what are people saying about MacB, the people who heard here about it? We just actually released these products, you know, the day before yesterday. We have the press uh, conference just released these uh, uh, products in Shenzhen, you know, so a lot of people still haven't heard about it, you know, but uh, this USB uh, gateway is already in mass production. We'll put this online uh, next week, you know, so basically you can buy them online with the one gateway and one door sensor you know for 99 RMB and it'll be cheap for all the manufacturers to get onto MACB protocol exactly yes. yeah it will definitely reduce it will cut the pricing to half you know comparing with Wi-Fi modules